Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a full review on the Kylie Lip, Lip Kits and Glosses. I have a lot to, of info, I think, to share. Good, bad, this is going to be the most unbiased review of all time. Well, I'm, because I'm saying it, obviously, I'm going to say it's the most unbiased review ever. But I'm always honest with you guys. I um, always just am completely transparent and I just want to give you guys my thoughts. Since these are very, very hyped, I fell into it. I purchased these. I was so excited. Um, I'm going to share not only like just how they look. I'm going to try on every single one that I have for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to share good and bad because I think that it's not just a these suck or these are the most greatest things ever. Um, there's a lot, I think, uh, there's a lot of info to share, I think, that I found. Okay, so I got two of the glosses. I got the Literally and the So Cute. And then I got four of the kits. I got the um, 22. I got the Exposed. I got the Candy K and I got the Coco K, which is what I'm wearing. Okay, so um, before we like actually, and then here's the packaging, you know, they, it comes very, I will say like the packaging is very professional, whether you like the design or not. So many people are like, that's the ugliest packaging. I hate it. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm saying, and I actually like it. I think it's really cute. What I'm saying is the, the, the tubes, the boxes, just how everything's presented. Everything is, is very, um, it's nice. On the other hand, there's a few things that aren't, but I'll explain, um, before we, even get even further into this, like I said, I'm gonna be like so freaking detailed, your head's gonna blow probably as if it like weren't going to already with all my like talking and details. But I will say that, you know, when I posted this picture on Instagram, you get a lot of just first reactions. I hate the Kardashians, I'm not gonna give a penny to this family, and I'm thinking, your pennies that you're giving them ain't gonna matter. <laughs> you know, they're not gonna notice if you're holding out on them. But I personally, I'm I'm not one of those people, but I'm not like that. Totally respect those that are, I, everyone can have their own opinions, but for me, and this is my video, these are my in, viewpoints, I don't have any problems with them. I think, good for Kylie. Good. I love to see people succeed. I love that she's young. Um, I'm not saying that I would be like, as, I, I don't know, some things that she posts, I'm like, oh, you're so young. But, um, and things are just so different. Things are so different from when I was her age. But regardless, you know, this is a very success, successful family. I love to see women succeed. I don't think that everything that you see them portray, you know, you see these like sexy selfies, you see certain things that they do on TV, that's not 100%, that's not their life. I think that deep down, I like to think people are good people and I like to think that they're a good family and you know, yeah, people have, weird things that happen and you may not agree with everything that they do. I just cannot hate someone or be that like passionate about not liking someone that I've never met or that I don't know anything about and I really don't think we do. They're all out there but I think that's it's a job. I just think that you know that's just their job. That's what they do. They, they put themselves out there and um, good. My whole point good on Kylie. Good for this young girl putting out an actual she saw something that she could be successful at and she did it and good on her, like good for you girl. So for months they had that hype, they built that hype where a lot of brands do this, I know firsthand a lot of brands do this, they'll say, oh, they have plenty to go around and they'll say, we can't put out this much, you know, this is just a limited time, like get it while you can. And even people that may not have wanted the products end up wanting it because they can't get it. It's just a marketing thing and I'm not saying that's what happened, I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, every single brand like does that to some degree um, with limited things and you know, you know, they'll do little releases and say it's only available for a week here and then they won't release it for like another month or something. And there are really, really big brands that do that. And you've got to think this is still such a young brand. So for people that see it and expect this ultimate perfection, I think is a little, it's a little strange because it's brand new. And I'm not saying that they had this warehouse full of stuff that could have gone around and they created like anything false there. I, I, I don't think that either. I, I really don't know. But I'm just saying that that hype really built up and really made people want it um, even more. Hi, I purchased like five products, six products. Now I believe that they are um, like the website, you can you can get things when you want. So I think that's cool. And I'm really interested to see like how everything will go now that hype isn't such a factor. Um, but you know, I just, I hate reviewing things. I hate showing things that aren't available to everybody. And I just thought this was such a perfect time to be able to do that. Cause now if you want it, you can get it. So in the lip kits, you get a lip pencil, and you get a 
uh, liquid lipstick. They're matte liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you like my findings and like how I feel, my review, and then we're gonna go and try on all the colors. So this is Coco K, like I mentioned. Um, first thing I noticed is that when I first took them out, the colors are not quite as expected. Actually, this is gonna be the first time that I'm trying this one on with you guys. Um, this is gonna be a first impression one because I've worn all of these a lot, but I just haven't had a chance to wear this one and I thought I'll just go ahead and do it. But I have had these long enough to give you guys a good review. But I just, I don't wear a lot of red, but I thought this was like a pretty orangey red. Almost didn't get Coke okay, and I would say this is my favorite color. So we're gonna get into the colors themselves when I actually try them on, but right now I'm gonna give you guys the review, the ins and outs. All right, so like I said, it comes with a liner and a color. You, the directions say, Okay, to lip, line your lips, fill it in with color. Now, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, a lot of matte liquid lipsticks. I have become a, a big fan of those, and it's kind of ruined me to any other type of lipstick because it's really all that I like. There are formulas that you put on straight on your lips, not drying at all. Um, for example, the Kat Von D, the Too Faced Melted Matte, um, the Melted Matte, not the Too Faced Melted, Ugh, those are horrible and the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones, but they're not drying at all. You can put them straight on. Um, so for people to think that matte lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks are gonna automatically be drying and you have to prep your lips with like tons of lip balm, that's not really, that's not really true because there are so many other ones that you don't have to do that with. However, to make these work, you do have to do something different. You can't just put them straight on because they are drying as seriously like when I first put them on I did them like I would do any other liquid lipstick um, I, and I'll show you what I do in a minute but like with clean lips um, you know line my lips even feather it in a little bit you know whatever uh, and then I put this on and it was very very drying now I use the tiniest bit of liquid lipstick I could see if people put on a lot of this it would peel it would get chunky mine actually did uh, just from being very thin, but I always say liquid lipstick is opaque and You know you always need to wipe it off like that You can put on the thinnest amount. It's going to give you just as good of a color payoff as if you pile the crap on So this is not something that you're going to be able to just keep touching up throughout the day Without a little bit of prep because it is going to be very chunky very flaky Very very drying so that was the first like ugh, for me Okay, well then, you know, I was determined, you know, I kept using different ones, I used them in different ways, put on a little bit of lip balm first, and I would suggest, isn't it cute? But that's not why, it's, it's really good. Um, like a lip smackers type of lip balm, that's very, these are the little Zoom lip smackers. There are new ones coming out soon that I cannot wait to show you, so adorable. Um, a drier lip balm, you don't wanna put anything too creamy on, but just very lightly, and then um, take like a tissue and just kind of blot it off. Just so there's a little bit of a barrier. You can do that. Now it doesn't, your lip color, you know, it shouldn't affect it being matte if you put on the right amount of lip balm, you need to kind of like dab it off. But it's not going to be like as like lip feeling otherwise. Okay, so I did that. Then I figured out the right way to do it. So first, before you do anything ever with your lips, you always want it to be kind of like prepped. You don't want to ever, even in the morning, like I never, first thing in the morning, I always put on a little bit of lip balm. So later in the day, if I do put on lipstick, if I do put on lipstick there, even if it's liquid, it's always on lips that are kind of prepped, but I never smear around the lip balm. I wipe it off. So my lips are kind of moisturized. Take the lip pencil, which these are very, very good, and um, line your lips and then barely, barely fill them in. Now, I've heard that her lip products are gonna be sold still in kits, but you're gonna be able to buy the lip liner separate. And honestly, I've tried every lip liner. Like, I've tried a lot of lip liners. MAC is my all-time favorite because it's not sticky. I hate creamy lip pencils that feel sticky later. I like them to be creamy enough to put on where it's not destroying your lips, but where it, it sets and it feels like skin, you know? And it's not gonna bleed. These are like the ultimate of those. So, so if she got one thing right, it's definitely the lip pencils. They're very, very creamy, and I'll show you. They're in this um, these pencils that look kind of like, you know, they're, they're wood, but they're, I don't know, but they, you know, they're kind of plasticky looking. They do actually sharpen very good. Which one have I sharpened? The Coco one. 
Gosh, now I'm getting them all mixed up. See, I've sharpened this one a few times and it's it sharpens just perfect. So, you know, some lip liners, that's an issue. So, Big Pro lip liner is very good. And I would actually, and I have been using the lip liners by themselves with different products. These, I would say, are not my favorite because they're drying. However, if you fill in your lips with the lip liner, which is what I did and what I've been doing, um, and then put the color on over, it's perfect. Um, right now, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. If I put it on over lip balm, it feels a little, a little sandy, like, like it's coming off. So that, you know, put on your lip balm in the morning, put it on before, but then wipe it off. You know what I mean? Dab it off and then fill in with the lip pencil. So I think that to me is like the right way to do it for me. I'm not saying like there's a right and wrong way, but if you don't want your lips to crack off your head, that's probably the way that you want to do it. Um, so yeah, I do, I like everything about the uh, lip pencils. This is what the applicator looks like. It's kind of like one of those velvety ones that is a little flatter. So not bad, I think that it's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Now as far as the wear, if you do it like I told you where like, like I just said, you know, it's gonna wear just like any of my favorite other ones, like the Kat Von D. Um, I love how, I wore it the first time like this a few days ago, and it feels just like skin. You know, like it doesn't feel like anything, which is good, it feels comfortable, so that's a good thing. And it's gonna last, it's gonna wear off evenly, so that's a good point. Um, I could see though where people will try these and they'll get to the first point where I was and the, their lips like crack off their face and they're like, okay, these suck. But, you know, I mean, I, I like to really give it a good go, and I really feel like that's a good way to wear them. Okay, so the lip glosses. Pretty containers. This is the So Cute, which is the lighter one. This is the Literally one. We'll talk about the colors themselves and, like, how they swatch and stuff in a minute. I might try one of these on just to show you. But um, the actual applicator for this one is just one of those little brushes. Now, the gloss is very, um, almost like gel, you know, opaque, very stringy. Now, kind of like a, like a vanilla-ish, weird, you know, kind of like a cherry-ish vanilla, which is similar to how these smell, like a cherry sweet vanilla. That's the liquid lipsticks. They look exactly the same. Now, okay, so this is the literally, and it's very dark, like it's very brown. And you can put it on over these. I like to just do it with, I mean, I think it's a little overkill to do it over the liquid lipsticks. I'm just doing this to show you. Uh, pairing it with one of the liners would be your best bet. So um, the literally looks really good, I think, with the um, exposed. Or you could use it with this one, the cocoa. It's not sticky, it's liquidy. And it's, you know what I mean? And I think with this, I probably applied too much, but less is much more with these glosses. So um, let me show you what the other one looks like. This is the So Cute. A lot of people talk about like their formula and stuff, like being, see, this one's not like super light. This was the first one that I really started wearing when I got these. This one I really like paired with the cocoa with the one that I'm wearing, although it wiped off some of it when I got that off. I just don't like brush up. Like I wish it was like a felt or a, you know, a little furry. Um, really pretty. So I would say out of the two, I really like the So Cute. Both of them are really pretty though. Before I try on the other colors, I will say that people got really, like when I would just see things, cause I've never watched a review on these. I've only seen what people have said on Instagram. Um, for one, from my post and from like when I would look at her, like the Kylie Cosmetics or whatever. And a lot of people on, I think it was my post, said that the formula was similar, that she ripped off some formula and she's charging more, whatever. When you put together a makeup product, like so many companies use the same labs. She's not like sitting in her house, like coming up with, you know, scribbling down like her own formulas on Nova paper. She probably knew what she wanted and she was probably really clear about it and she went you, and you go to a lab and they have the formulas, you know? Um, so if it's similar to something else, it's not that she's trying to be sneaky or anything, um, you know, and different things will be tweaked in different ways, but that's just how it is. Um, that's how it is with any brand. So if you say that about hers, you can really say that with anything. 
but I do think that there are liquid lipsticks that are better than hers, the brands that I mentioned before. But if you do wanna use it, there are ways to use it where it will be perfect. Um, but if you're just gonna use it straight off, it's gonna be very drying. And like I said, this is a very new brand, and I really think that, you know, gosh, she's got so many people buying this stuff she'll maybe be able to fix that. So, you know, give it some time. Um, so this is what the Coco looks like with the um, So Cute, and this is my favorite combination, but I would use the Coco lip liner and this, and I would skip the liquid lipstick, and this is the look that you would get without the liquid lipstick. So if I was gonna buy some of these, I would just get the liners and, you know, I do like the gloss. So let me uh, try on the other colors for you. All right, so this is Coco K, the one that I was just wearing, and this is Candy K. Now, Candy K is the one that I see a lot more. Like, like when you look at the Instagram page, like people, you know, there's certain colors that people like wear the most. Um, I thought that Coco was gonna be very, very pink, and it was the last one that I added. Like, I almost didn't get it, and then I went back and got it. I was like, okay. It can sometimes be hard to find colors that are, like in liquid lipsticks, that are pink without being too pink, without being too purple, without being too nude pink, without being too dark pink. So I really do think that one is pretty perfect. Although, like I said, when I saw pictures of it, it looked really bright, and I thought I was getting something really pink, but it turned out being better. Uh, so honestly, I feel like that one is the most natural looking one. I mean, you may think different when you see these other ones, but next we're gonna do the Candy K which was the one that I expected. Okay, I don't wanna get any of these mixed up. All right, Candy K, which I kind of expected to be like the most like nude one. This one is really dark. And it could be because I'm like whiter than snow. And my lips still feel comfortable from this earlier. Next time I'll put that on and show you. Like, see if you had a bit of a darker skin tone, no, this would probably look a lot lighter. So, this is Candy K. I expected this to be, like, nude. Maybe I wasn't looking at it right, though. I don't know. I wiped this off. I'm like, look, I've already got the color. So, I mean, you could just get the lip liners, because they feel so comfortable, but they're not sticky. But, when you put that over, it does look really smooth and pretty, so I get it. Um, but I just used, you, did you see, I wiped off a ton of it, and I didn't re-dip, I just used the tiniest amount. So in other words, these will last you the rest of your life. So this one's pretty, but to me it was a bit more like reddish than I expected. Not, like in tone, it's a bit more of like a, you know what I mean? Maybe like a reddish brown. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting, but it's pretty. Uh, so it's a little darker. I would probably wear this like if I was wanting my makeup to look like a little bit more done or I don't know but you can kind of see that's what the um that's what that one looks like. I realized I didn't take a picture of this for like because I wanted to do like maybe one of those little like Instagram shots with all of the colors uh so I'm doing this one again my lips are really gonna fall off like for real um but this is the Coco K and that's what it looks like just the lip liner since you guys didn't get to see me putting it on I thought I would just film it so wipe it off real good. And this is with any liquid lipstick, this is how I do it. Maybe not like filling it in with lip liner, but it's kind of how I think these work best. Thumbnail. Yeah, if you guys are wondering how to do something, someone asked me that one time, they were like, how do you take the picture? It's not that complicated, you just film and you smile like, hey, ha, where, oh, let me hold like a million products. And then when you're editing, you just, see the frame that you want and then you just hit like save frame most editing pro i've used a bunch of different editing programs and they all have something like that don't ask me questions though about your like editing program 2.987 whatever and then i'm supposed to like figure out how to do it because i don't know you don't have to google that and then um i'll put this on top <laughs> just so i have like i can show like my favorite combo i didn't re dip it i just thinned that out so much and like I said, I wouldn't use it over the lipstick. I would use it, I would just use this with like the lip liner. Okay, so I'm gonna do the expose next. I'm gonna show you, so. Uh, I popped on some lip balm there. And you wouldn't just put it on directly after this because then you're just gonna end up with like a chunky, gross mess. Let this thing in for a minute. Wipe it off where it just feels like, not sticky, but comfortable. And then um, we're gonna do the exposed. Now exposed is a little tan, brownish. 
it's pretty and I honestly I like this brown uh, but it's not like a nude it's not like a true nude which sometimes when you look at these they look very nude but I guess it's just on people that may be like darker than than I so then I fill it in and just wipe it off And raining like all day long my house going like, float off of this hill so then that is what exposed looks like this one I think is the one that is this the one I don't know I remember seeing something where it said like this was her favorite like Kylie's favorite color and um, it's really pretty it's just like a brown like a good just brown that's not too dark which I like that because things can go pretty dark on me but like I said I'm pretty light I'm pretty fair and I feel like some of these colors would look really light on other people so um, what I would do is I would take the literally gloss like okay this is if I was just wearing the lip lip kit but if I were just gonna use like the lip pencil I'd put just a little of this gloss over it so exposed and literally go together really well a lot of these mix and match really well and then the so cute and the cocoa go together really well but all, all of these you can kind of mix and match so I like that Shoot, I didn't do a thumbnail for it without the gloss. Frick. I'll fix it. I'm gonna be so accurate, you guys don't even know. Someone told me that I do lazy lip swatches. I'm like, how? Like, get out of here. Like, my lips will crack off on my face tonight. There ain't nothing lazy about that. Okay. If you are doing, though, I will say, lip swatches or you're trying to be CeraVe makeup removing cleanser cloth, they are really nubby and thick. They remind me of like Honest Wipes. It's like the same material. But they're really soft and they don't like, and they're not rough, you know, on your lips. Do, 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 do. All right, and then last, okay, okay. Um, like I said, I have not tried the 22. And just because like I haven't really had a time where I really wanna to commit to like red lipsticks and I feel like this stuff is gonna be like, you know, that's gonna be like your day. See, I don't have any, I just put it on and it just feels comfortable. It's not like I'm gonna be smearing it around. Okay, so this is the first time I've used this. So this is kind of neat because we can do like a first impressions. So it's like a very orangey red, which I really like. That's the kind of red I like. Especially like matte. When it's matte, it makes it not look as harsh. And then just kind of fill it in. I'm not filling it in super careful. I'm just kind of like, eh. And probably put on a little too much. I shouldn't have like put that much in the middle. So stuff is good. Like honestly, the lip liner is good, like it doesn't transfer. Like when it sits on, it feels comfortable. It's not drying, but it sets like a dry lip liner, which I love, okay. You guys get it, I like the lip liner. The color, wipe it off. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean, I guess I get it. Like you don't need, putting the liquid over it just makes it look so much like richer and prettier. I really like that color. It's, um. I mean, I have other colors that are a little more red. This one, I expect it to be a little more orange, and it's more red. I have different colors that are more like orangey red, but it's it's still an orangey red. Still really pretty. So, I've already kind of given you my verdict. I think that there are other things that you can wear without having to make sure that your lips are really moisturized first, and making sure that you, you know, basically there has to be something in between the lip, the liquid lip color and your lips not just I don't think applying a lip balm and then applying it is the best deal because like I said it will get greasy it will kind of start like chunking off it'll feel sandy I've done that been there um so use your lip balm wipe it off like really blot it and then fill in your lips with the lip liner it won't affect the finish um it, it just it just works go to their website to see all the price details to see all the different colors there's a lot of different colors a lot of different new colors um, but I just kind of, it's such a hyped thing, I wanted to really get into it and kind of give you guys all of the, all of my thoughts. 
and all the thoughts on the different colors. I wanted to try them on. So um, I feel like those are kind of the most popular ones or the ones that you see the most about. And um, that's interesting to me. I think that that would hopefully be helpful to you guys. Try it the way that I showed so that maybe you're not like wasting your money. If you hate this family and you're not going to get them, then you're probably not even wasting your time watching this video. So I, don't, I guess I don't have to address those of you, which totally respect your opinion. But, you know, um, I'm just sharing mine. Uh, but hopefully this kind of helped you guys out. If you are going to spend your money on this, you'll have a good idea of how to use them since I kind of already went through the trial and error for you. So um, thank you guys for watching. I will link to these below. I will link to everything else that I'm wearing. I'm loving this necklace still. It's the adjustable lariat necklace that I got and I'm still loving these little tops. And um, back to wearing my pearl earrings, which I just, I love these. My Hermes bracelet, my new platinum. Uh, Locket Cuff by l &M. The platinum ones I think are my favorite. I have the unicorn, I have the gold. I love the unicorn, it's really fun and new. But I think my favorite out of all of them that she's ever done is this platinum. It's so beautiful and she'll set whatever stone you want in it too, which is cool. So that's that guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I'll link anything else like my makeup and um, below too so we don't have to get into all that. But I know this is going to be really long but I hope it was worth it for you guys and that it was fun. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.